What else do you have, McLovin? I was going to ask, how do you feel now about vacating the 2017 title? We did it at the beginning of the scandal. I'm looking for the result. The apology last week than it was when we first asked the question. It wasn't really an apology. Right. I think more people want to vacate the title now than two weeks ago. Well, if the commissioner is going to tell us that he didn't want to fight the Players Association, so the reason why he didn't punish these players is he didn't want to get tied up in litigation here. There's going to be grievances. You're the commissioner. Do what's right for the game, not, hey, I didn't want to deal with the Players Association. Or we're going to have this you know, CBA that's going to be coming up, and I want to play nice with the Players Association. I, I just I don't think the commissioner did well this weekend. Um, you know, where he says, oh, you can, uh, you know, take away a piece of metal. I, I, I'll play some of this sound. Uh, here is uh, the commissioner on uh, why he didn't go after the players but went after management. In hindsight, was there any other way to go about this without blanket immunity that would allow you to punish certain players? You could have made the choice to go with the management people and sort of given them immunity and found out how the players were involved. Whatever dissatisfaction is out there with the grant of immunity to players, I think it would have been 10 times worse if you let the management people off and then tried to go after the players. All right, here is the commissioner on why those players did not get punished. The one thing that I do take issue with, um, the notion that anybody in the Houston organization escaped without punishment. And uh, I think if you look at the faces of the Houston players, as they've been out there publicly addressing this issue, they have been hurt by this. They will live with questions about what went on in 2017 and 2018 for the rest of their lives. And frankly, it's rare that for any offense, you have a punishment that you will live with for the rest of your life. So I you know, hope the questions um, will at least take into account those two thoughts. Oh, gosh, that's horrible. So if, if I look at Pete Rose's face, because he's had to live with this the rest of his life, that's, that's, that's enough punishment, right? Now you can say, well, we have rules in place for gambling, uh, but not, you know, sign stealing. All right, we're just talking about the Hall of Fame now. So look at the, look, look at the anguish on Pete Rose's face. Look at the disappointment. Look at the sadness. So uh, do I factor that in? All you have to do is show remorse. If you cry, then, you know, I don't suspend you. Like, if I get busted for steroids, then I just go, man, I, I'm sorry. I'm just cry in front of the commissioner. I'll have to live with this the rest of my life. No, we're going to sit you down for half a year. That's what happens. Now I can look at the – do those Astros look like they're really pained? I mean, maybe I missed something here. But I, it's not like I, those guys are torn up about this. Yeah, Paul. In that first clip, the commissioner said, well, if we would have given the management and uh, uh, managers immunity and testified against the players, nobody would have been satisfied with that. He's using extremes. You could have punished both. Let, let's say every player on the Astros that was part of it got a 10-game suspension, right, without pay. But we're, we're finding that Jose Altuve apparently didn't need these these signals, these drum warnings. They, they said that Shoeless Joe Jackson did not tank the World Series, but he knew about it, and that's why he was barred from the game. He was not accused of actually tanking. and not, He hit 375, so that, that doesn't wash. But he's basically saying, you know, uh, the, the people, people have a problem with zero punishment. You could, if the punishment's 10 games, people say there should have been more. That's yeah. fine. But zero punishment's tough to deal with. If you don't want to punish the individual players, then you just take away the trophy. Like you physically take away the trophy and vacate the title. Then I, 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 if I'm going to, they're going to live with this shame. They shouldn't be living with the shame while having a World Series trophy. That's all. Take the trophy away. It's symbolic. And you're punishing the players because you're taking away that trophy. I hate that the fans are being punished here. But, you know, in their minds, they're still going to say, hey, we were champions there. Granted, there's an asterisk by that, but you don't want to punish individual players. How about we're going to punish everybody because of you? Then it feels a little bit different there. But don't tell me the look on their faces. I I'm guessing Jose Altuve is still cashing a pretty big paycheck. Now, maybe he doesn't get into the Hall of Fame. Who knows, you know, where we're going to be in 15 years from now? Does it follow him? 
Probably. It should. But now, now you got Carlos Correa saying Jose Altuve didn't use it. So who did? And then all of a sudden you're going to stop? That's why when you had Cody Bellinger say, these guys are cheaters. They've been cheating for the last three years. Okay. Are, ha, would you stop if you were successful? I don't think so. Unless somebody said to you, guys, they're on to you. And I don't rule out the buzzers. I don't. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, coincidental that these things happened to Jose Altuve after hitting that game-winning, uh, series-winning uh, home run. What about the guys who were on base? Did they get benef benefit from uh, the drums? Like Altuve, uh, he didn't cheat. Okay. What about the guys who were on base when he hit the home run? Like... <sighs> for more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.